Friends, Pastor Doug and Pastor Harv here. I'm so excited to have a season of joy and celebration after such a trying year. Now each year during our Christmas Eve service, we designate a special offering to make a specific difference in our world, and we call it the Christ Birthday Offering. Now in years past, we've uh, built a medical clinic in remote China. We built a sustainable farm in Haiti to feed orphans. We built a sports field for youth sports, and we're just finishing up building a new food pantry and student ministry space. This year, our biggest challenge for everyone has been COVID-19. As with any challenge, it has shown to us that no matter how many families we feed, no matter how many youth sports or activities we had, if a person's soul is in despair, nothing else matters. You know, our world really needs Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the light of the world. And the gospel of Jesus Christ is the only hope that can satisfy the soul. We're seeing a new openness, a new hunger for Jesus, but at the same time, more people are isolated, cut off, and unable to gather with friends and family like before. As many of you know, we've been able to preach, shepherd, mentor, heal, and connect straightforward in our services here on campus and also through digital means as we are doing right now. So we're going to designate this year's Christ's birthday offering to a couple of specific things. First, we want to continue to support our on-campus ministries and we want to also build a digital platform that reaches people and strengthens their faith using all of the digital tools we can. Now when COVID-19 hit in March, the number one search on Google was how to pray. Just imagine if we could build a presence in this digital neighborhood so that when people start their search for answers, they find and see Jesus. We want to be a lighthouse shining in the midst of the storm of their life. This digital address will be an entire neighborhood designed to build and coach and support your life designed to build and coach and support marriages. Whether you engage with us here on campus or online, our digital presence will increase because we want to help you build and strengthen your marriages. Just imagine if, if someone was in need of marriage coaching, they don't have to schedule an appointment to meet with us here in person. They could also schedule an appointment to meet with us digitally through a program we've designed to help heal your marriages and to bless your marriages. We've designed a place where people who want to build healthy marriages, maybe even heal broken marriages, and also get their marriages off on the right foot, they'll have a place to go, not here only in the Treasure Valley, but also across the globe. We were called to make disciples everywhere. This digital neighborhood will also help parents raise and educate their children. Whether you're on campus or off campus, so many parents have questions about what to do. Instead of waiting for a message series or maybe having to read through a book, they can access digital parent coaching even on their cell phones. You're gonna see more practical tools, more resources, and more coaching for parents raising and educating their children than ever before. Many people are having to pursue and grow their faith at home. Mm. This digital neighborhood will help you to start micro churches and to support church at home. Imagine toolkits that are mailed directly to you or are ready and accessible directly at any point and any time, whether day or night, uh, to help you be the church. Mm. We can help you start a micro church in your living room. We can help you to connect with other people who would connect to Jesus Christ through foothills from all over the country, and importantly, from your neighborhood, from mm -hmm. where you live and how you desire to see Christ. We see the kingdom of God growing in ways that no one ever imagined. In fact, we're seeing the kingdom of God growing in the same way that it grew during mm -hmm. the first century. This is a hybrid era where the new and the old will come together so that we can evermore fulfill our mission to coach people to be fully devoted disciples of Jesus Christ. It's going to be a, a great hybrid, I think, of ministry going into the new uh, millennium. I really do. The other thing, though, I'm really concerned about is educating children and how we're doing it. Therefore, this year, we really want to invest in ways to help parents in their uh, educating of their children and how to influence the school system as well. You know, I started the Salty Pastor to help people understand the influences of our world today on their families, their marriages, and their kids. And I believe Foothills can also build more tools, more resources, more training kits for parents and educators. Uh, I want us to partner with schools and resource developers who are making a huge difference and bringing those resources to everyone. 
Third, we want to expand our support of international missionaries. Mm -hmm. These are people that are out there. Can you imagine how difficult it's been for us here in the States? Imagine people in all kinds of places in the developing world. They need the same resources and they need the same mission uh, opportunity to serve the people in the field that they've been called to. Mm -hmm. we want when to we build our digital tools, they will be available to all of us and also to those of us who are out in the mission field reaching people for Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, these are some really big goals. But when so many churches were shutting down, Foothills felt led and called by God to really step up. So we're going to be stepping up in a big way. Now, Foothills has received a challenge gift of $175,000. And this means that for every dollar you give to the Christ Birthday Offering, it will be matched dollar for dollar up to $175,000. That means your gift could have double the impact and could bring our total to over $350,000. Mm, praise be to God. We've had a great year of ministry. Mm -hmm. I know that many of us have hurt, but we've had a ministry year, a year mm -hmm. where people have known and heard of the gospel of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Mm -hmm. Imagine all the resources that we want to develop with you, that we want to extend our ability to reach others, help marriages, help families, help parents, help schools. In fact, help shape the biblical worldview around us so that we would have a voice for Jesus Christ that is greater and greater and greater that others will come to know Jesus. But importantly, hear us on this. Our ministry is here first. We love you. We are a church together. We're the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And it's been a joy to have a great year of ministry with you this year. Mm -hmm. You know, our generosity as a church right here where God called us and planted us to start has made such a huge difference in the lives of so many people because this church has been so generous over the years. Mm -hmm. And I believe this can be the beginning of something even bigger than we have ever imagined. It's not something that we want to do, it's what God is laying before us and calling us to do. So thank you for taking some time to pray and think about your generosity this year for our Christ's birthday offering. Praise God.